Welcome back to the Road to KSP. I'm here about to launch this excellent rocket. And as you can tell, um, it has drop tanks. Yes, it does have drop tanks. And uh, yeah, uh, it just seemed like a cheaper option than adding whole extra boosters. And it kind of was. It gave me all that I needed. Um, they did explode as soon as they uh, separated. That was unfortunate, um, but like they weren't going to survive anyway, so that's fine. Um, anyway, this is an interesting mission. Uh, we are launching a special spacecraft today. Um, and uh, yeah, basically, if you want to name it, you can name it it's uh if like literally i'll name it after the first person who comments after this video yeah that's what i'll do uh first person who comments i will name it after them uh yeah so this is this will be the uh first craft of its name and every single craft after that will be a part of the craft this is class so yeah um yeah, this is basically how it's going to go. So, uh, it's going to be a nuclear propelled craft and it will, uh, well, it's going to keep that little second stage there for a while just because we can use the fuel. All right. Anyway, we're on a second, second launch. Uh, here we are. And, um, it's basically going to be a probe for a very specific, uh, planet in the solar system yeah co co Kerbal system Kerbal system yeah it's uh it's for gilly this is a gilly probe it is to be landed on gilly which should be pretty cool and actually this is the thing that we're going to focus the rest of the episode on uh because we are well we have nothing really on the board until the mars transfer comes up so I mean, the Venus transfer window is coming up in a couple of weeks-ish. So, I mean, it should be just pretty quick to just launch it straight to Gilly. Uh, launch it straight to Gilly. And then also the transit time between the two doesn't even take all that long. So, I mean, why not? Um, yeah, and uh, I'm doing a thing right here. It saves uh, fuel through the Oberth effect. Uh, yeah, so the Oberth effect is where you burn at the the lowest, uh, at your periapsis, to basically conserve energy, and you uh, end up basically um, gaining delta V off of it, because it's less, uh, basically, the periapsis is the most efficient place to burn, and then anywhere else is very inefficient, especially the apoapse. Uh, the apoapse is basically inefficient for anything other than deorbit burns, or to lower the periapsis. Like, that's, that's really the only thing that the Apple Apps is used for. Anyway, um, we're going and we made our circularization burn. And uh, we didn't really need to make the circularization burn. It's just that we are going to be uh, basically rotating for a while, just a couple of months, before we launch to the, well, to Gilly. So, yeah. We basically have a year till we're uh, a year and 200 and something days before we can uh, go add, uh, you know, add Duna. So we, we have that. And it's most likely going to be next episode when we end up going to Duna or at least launching ourselves that way. Because I have a bunch of other stuff planned for once we uh, launch ourselves in that direction. I'm planning on launching more of those craft and they'll actually have names and I'll probably just name them after whoever comments else. So like, yeah, full, full, uh, everyone comment, just comment. Anything goes just that, that like anything. Um, so just any comment will work and, uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, you'll get a ship named after you part of this class. That's, that's literally how it's going to go. Uh, yeah. Well, not this class, but the, the class of, uh, smaller, uh, more cramped, uh, like interstellar class ships there. Uh, I'm going to probably launch like four of them total. 
and uh, they'll all be doing missions simultaneously. That's like my main goal with them, to just do missions simultaneously. Anyway, we have our uh, Gilly encounter here. And so the reason why we're going to Gilly is because Gilly is very useful scientifically. Uh, we are kind of low on science at the moment. Uh, so uh, like I need to upgrade a couple of things in order to be bouncing around the plant, uh, solar system like we should. So I'm basically just doing that. Also, I totally forgot to enable the uh, thing and... Uh, yeah, we burn too late, but that's okay. We have more than enough fuel. We're perfectly fine. Although I was really scared, you'll see I kept going back to the uh, back to the other screen because look at how fast we were going by Gilly, like like so fast. Uh, this is actually only at two times speed right now. We were flying past Gilly, and I had to uh, basically do everything in my power to basically deorbit ourselves. It was uh, a little bit stressful, but it's fine. We got lots of science from high up above Gilly, and we got tons of science from the surface. Um, yeah, yeah, spoiler alert, we made it to the surface. Um, I think Gilly only has one biome. Um, I could be wrong about that. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only one biome on Gilly. Uh, because, like, I don't know, Gilly's just so small. Also, like, thank God there's a there's a speed speed up version of this. Like, I was going so slow. We're back to five times speed, by the way. Uh, like, this thing moves so slow, like, all the time. Like, there's nothing I can do to, like, pick up the speed. Like, I, I did that, and then... Like, watch this. I'm going to zero out my velocity uh, in a couple of seconds. Watch this. <laughs> I'm, like, floating. And that was at five times speed. It, pro it probably took, like, ten seconds to, you know, land it. Anyway, that's it for today. And uh, peace out and goodbye.